Please welcome Senior Vice President with Synopsis, John Cooter. Hello. Hi, my name's John Cooter with Synopsis. I'm a Senior Vice President in charge of the IP Product Development Organization here. And it's just my absolute honor and delight to be invited here uh, you know, to Intel's Direct Connect Forum and working here collaboratively with Intel Foundry to, to really bring solutions to the next generation of design needs to our mutual customers. So my talk is going to be focusing on solutions in the era of pervasive intelligence. And um, of course I have to click through the legal document here, but let me get to the next slide here. And, and I was kind of bummed out earlier today. I mean, I thought I was gonna have this scoop that AI is going into every single market segment. I thought that that was going to be a revolution. Of course it's not, but of course it's driving into every single market segment and it's profoundly ch changing everything. And semiconductors are at the absolute heart of heart of that revolution. And I have to just take a pause and ask, wasn't that robotic dog cool? I mean, I was sitting back there in the back of the audience and I was thinking, I want one. And then I know exactly how that conversation would go with my wife. My wife, I'm a gadget guy, okay, I freely admit it. I know exactly how that conversation would go with my wife. She would say, what do you need a robot dog for? And I'm like, you're completely missing the point. It'd be like, it's cool. I also have some smart glasses, you know, and the other day they were doing real-time language translations when I was in a Spanish-speaking company. It's really cool what AI is enabling, and semiconductors are at the absolute heart of that. And it's also a great time to be in the semiconductor industry and everything associated with the semiconductor industry. This is the fourth major wave of innovation to hit semiconductor. First was PC, then the internet, then mobile, and now we're in the era of pervasive intelligence. And it was just only 10 years ago when the semiconductor industry was at 300 billion, we were wondering what is next? Is semiconductor slowing down? Well, clearly semiconductor is not slowing down. It's taking off like a rocket ship here. You know, Gartner just put out a report that said the semiconductor industry was about 625 million, or billion, I should say, if I remember correctly, and it's anticipated to go up by another 400 billion over the next four or five years. And up to 500 billion of that, more than half of that, is anticipated to be AI-driven silicon. So what a fantastic and amazing time to be in the semiconductor industry. Complexity is compounding, and the pace is accelerating, though, in this era of pervasive intelligence. 300 billion transistor designs are being designed, not obviously in a single monolithic SOC, but in a series of die connected together in advanced packaging, which is certainly one of the things that Intel Foundry absolutely excels at. 300 billion transistors, that's just absolutely amazing to me. And all of that being designed at a rapidly increasing pace. Used to be two years, 18 months. In some cases with AI accelerators, it's under a year between revisions of the chips. That's absolutely extraordinary. Now, on this next slide here, you've all heard this phrase, necessity is the mother of all invention. I've heard it too, right? But did you know that it goes back over 2,500 years? to Aesop's fable, I guess necessity has been the mother of invention here for quite some time. And uh, we're going to need a lot of that creativity to crack the challenges of the AI revolution. Because AI silicon is absolutely driving the state of the art. It's driving the state of the art in processes, in EDA, in verification methodologies, in IP, and in packaging. And throughout the rest of this presentation, I'm going to be stepping through each one of those areas and how Synopsys and Intel Foundry are collaborating together. So the first I wanna talk about the Intel 18A and Intel 18A-P process technologies. This is a great process technology with very significant innovations. Ribbon transistors around gate all around transistors 
backside power delivered by power vias. Intel 18A and Intel 18A-P is a very competitive technology. And we have worked very closely with Intel Foundry to bring this to market. We started a couple years ago doing DTCO, Design Technology Co-Optimization, working at the 0.1 version of the PDK, working with Intel to make this a great process by modeling all of the transistors. We have certified design flows for both digital and analog design. We have thermal aware implementation optimized for Intel's power via backside delivery. We have ribbon fed design synthesis and optimization to deliver the very best PPA. And we're not just stopping at Intel 18A, we're moving on. Today we announced collaboration with Intel on Intel 14, a slash 14AE. Again, we're repeating the cycle here. We're starting with the DTCO. We're looking at cell and VT optimization for the best PPA. We're looking at thermal cooling. We're looking at device analysis, PDA, PDK collateral, and also to make the layout effort simpler. Now this is something as uh, the leading IP provider, this is something that we focus on very strongly with our foundry partners, right? It's not just enough to have a great process. You need to have a great process that is also easy to design in that gives you the full entitlement of that process. And by starting early, Synopsys and Intel Foundry are creating the next great process in Intel 14A. Now AI Silicon needs advanced a, uh, EDA as well. And so we have worked with Intel Foundry to completely certify our Intel 18A tool set, as well as production, uh, our 18A-P technology is production ready. So whether it's our digital, having digital reference flows, analog reference flows, uh, full enablement of our fusion compiler, prime time, star RC, IC validator, custom compiler, prime sim, all of these tools have been certified for production ready use on Intel 18A and Intel 18A-P, working very, very closely with Intel Foundry. And Synopsys is just not stopping there. The next generation of EDA is what we, is based on agentic AI. And uh, we've coined the term agent engineer. So we'll have agent engineers working alongside engineers to solve the next generation of complex design processes. And just like in your self-driving car where it's categorized from L1 through L5, the next generation wave of EDA based on agentic AI is categorized in the same way. L1's out there today in broad deployment. It's generative AI for things like making uh, help search queries easier, L2 is also well on its way. This is for something like lint checking and fixing lint checking or DRC violations. L3 or orchestrating is when you have a group of AI agents working together to solve a more complex problem. For example, it might be signal integrity uh, across an entire block. And then move into L4 where uh, the agents are working proactively to plan a solution. For example, a highly complex clock tree and implement that with um, the lowest possible skew. And L5 is decision making is when we are working collaboratively with AI engines to solve a very broad and significant process. So we're there. We're working really hard on this uh, at Synopsys. We're driving the next wave of innovation on EDA. Now I also want to turn my attention over and talk about advanced IP. Some of you may have heard of the memory wall. You know the memory wall in today's server chips you can have 250 CPU cores, maybe even more. The, one of the biggest problems with that is feeding the beast fast enough, sending data fast enough onto the compute engine and that's called breaking the memory wall. But it's not just the memory wall, it's the I.O. bandwidth, it's also the system bandwidth. All of those things are causing an absolute revolution in the standards that our industry is, is, uh, has been working with for a number of years now. 
Now, I've been in IP for a number of years now. I think this is year number 18 for me, right? And I used to think, you know, the time between standards of three to four years was pretty aggressive. But guess what? You know, now the time between standards is two years, 18 months, in some cases only a year. And you have to be really focused, focused on speed first, focus on, you know, keeping up with this tremendous change in this landscape. And that requires advanced, state-of-the-art IP. And we have been collaborating with Intel Foundry on this for a number of years now for IP for Intel 18A and Intel 18A-P. So specifically, if you look down at the bottom of the slide, we have a broad range of security IP, whether it's random number generators or a hardware security module, a broad range of foundation IP, logic libraries, memory compilers, GPIOs, uh, sensors, uh, LVDSIOs, and then we have a very robust portfolio of interface IP, cutting edge interface IP. We're talking about HPM4 at more than 12 gig. We're talking about LPDDR6 at 14.4. We're talking about PCI Express 6 and PCI Express 7 and support for UAL 200. We're talking about DDR5, MR DIM, and, um, and so forth. Just across the board, we're working very closely with Intel Foundry to have a leading edge, cutting edge uh, IP portfolio on these nodes. So AI Silicon also needs advanced packaging. And I have to tell you, this is an area where Intel Foundry just absolutely shines. Earlier on, we talked about EMIB and Fulveros technology. Intel Foundry truly has world-class packaging technologies. And Synopsys and Intel have worked together to enable a complete flow to take advantage of that world-class advanced packaging. So starting with our 3D IC compiler platform, which is a highly integrated platform that does everything from exploration to sign-off, moving into IP or EDA optimized reference flows, whether it's for bump management or whether it's partitioning or whether it's SIPI or whether it's EMIR thermal or whether it's floor planning. When you're talking about dividing a design that used to be monolithic and dividing it across a series of chiplets, you bring in a whole new series of design challenges. And we've worked really closely with Intel Foundry to address those. Things like cache coherency, things like emulation, things like timing budgeting across multiple dies. All of those things are areas where Synopsys and Intel Foundry have worked very, very closely together to give certified reference flows to take a full advantage and full entitlement of, um, of this advanced packaging. So a couple of specifics here, you know, the flow allows for early bump uh, TSV planning and optimization. It uh, delivers fully automated UCIE and HBM routing and enables very high interconnect density at sizes well below, uh, well above, I should say, about the reticle limit. And by the way, isn't it amazing how much silicon you can put in one of these advanced packages now? I mean, it might be three or four X reticle size, it might even be eight X the reticle size. I mean, frankly, I can't wait to see what our customers are going to do when they have access to something like 4,000 or 5,000 or even 6,000 millimeters squared of silicon. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. Okay, so now I am going to uh, transition here. Uh, I spent the first part of this um, presentation talking about how Synopsys and Intel Foundry were delivering solutions for AI silicon in the area of advanced process, in the area of EDA, in the area of verification, in the area of IP, and in the area of packaging. So. I'm now going to broaden it out and talk about Synopsys' commitment with Intel to the broader ecosystem. So just today, uh, we were, did a press announcement that we're very, very pleased and honored to be a founding member of Intel Foundry's Accelerator Chiplet Alliance. This is really going to enable interoperability and manufacturing between multiple, die, uh, multiple dies, multi-chip designs on Intel Foundry. 
And most importantly, and this is always most importantly, it's going to enable our customers innovations to get to market faster, reliably, and with the absolute best PPA. Now, we've also collaborated with Intel to do the world's first customer delivery and design on Intel 18A. The vast majority of the designs in this multi-die design actually use Synopsys AI-driven tool suite to implement these dies. We've also collaborated with Intel and Intel Foundry on the first tape out of Intel 18A-P. In addition to using the Synopsys tool flow, we also brought in Formality and Formality ECO uh, to bring in the latest and greatest capabilities of our tools. So with that, I know I'm standing between you and lunch here, so I'll wrap up. I even give you a couple minutes back. But first of all, I want to say thank you to our hosts at Intel Foundry, and I want to say thank you to everybody in the audience. I'm really looking forward to collaborating with the entire ecosystem and our customer base uh, to make your designs at Intel Foundry uh, just a tremendous success. Thank you very much.